Do you know why? Previously. <coughs> yeah, to feed their young ones. No, how co do you think that the animals need people like us to speak up for them? Since they don't have a voice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so how, so if you was in the animal's position, would you want more people speaking up for you? Yeah, yeah, so these animals aren't just mating naturally. They're being raped by human beings to impregnate them. So, mm. um, so they keep breed they keep breeding them and breeding them and breeding them so they have to keep killing them and killing them and killing them to yeah to to keep the maintain their numbers yeah. yeah to maintain the numbers yeah exactly we know they get hurt they feel pain they suffer they have a desire to live mm -hmm. yeah that's true probably their that's lives true. so do you eat meat dairy and eggs well you trying to turn me vegan <laughs> well i hope so uh, well, I don't think it's gonna happen because I love meat so much. So, do you think that it's possible to have the dairy industry? Do you think that the dairy industry can be ethical, or is it always cool? Yeah, that's true. That's definitely true. Mm -hmm. So, do you think that it's possible to be against animal cruelty if you're not a vegan? Hello? Hey, yo, work on KSI. I'm not KSI. You look like KSI. I'm not yeah. KSI. Yeah, rap. Rap for me, bruh. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not here to rap. I'm here to find out how people feel about animal abuse. Technical <coughs> abuse. Um, animal abuse. Oh, animal abuse. Yeah, yeah. it's not nice. It's I don't not, like it. It's not nice. You don't like it. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm I'm here to show people the behind the scenes of industries sweet, that. Wait, 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 wait. What is is sucking on a horse cock? Is that is that is that animal abuse? What? Uh, yes, that is animal abuse. That's I will call that rape because that horse has not consented. Oh right, okay. I see. Are you from the UK? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you from where? Are you from? Yeah, I'm originally from South Africa, but I moved to the UK for like two years. All right, cool. No. Very interesting. But I'm trying to show people yeah. behind the scenes of industries that abuse animals. Do you eat meat, dairy, and eggs? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Meat, dairy, eggs, honey, you eat all that. Okay, so for example, do you, do you know what happens in the dairy industry? No, not really. They okay. Do you want me to show you what happens? It's gonna be graphic. Yeah, okay, sure. The male calves, called bobby calves, are considered useless to the dairy industry because they'll never be able to produce milk. They are kept isolated for five days before being herded onto a truck and sent to the slaughterhouse. They can be withheld food for the last 30 hours of their lives. Starved, confused, and desperate for affection, they cry for their mothers from the holding pens of the slaughterhouse, where they'll be killed the following morning. Those who avoid the stunner or who are improperly stunned are killed while conscious. Around 
about 700,000 male calves are slaughtered as waste products of the dairy industry every year in Australia alone. A small number of male calves are grown out for longer, up to 20 weeks to be slaughtered for veal. Okay, okay, okay. Because the males don't produce milk, just like all mammals, just like mm. I don't produce milk because I'm a male. But he's just been kidnapped from his mother who was raped to impregnate her because because all because only women pro produce because females only produce breast milk when they've had a baby or they're pregnant so oh, yeah this is where all the males go they all go to a slaughterhouse to be stabbed in the throat would you consider this sure. to be animal cruelty yeah okay that's not good that's not good that's not good okay so yeah who do you think is responsible for this? As humans. As humans. Human beings, yeah. Yeah, yeah so yeah. Which, which human beings? Who buys the products mm -mm. of the dairy industry? Excuse me? Who buys the products of the dairy industry? Uh, I don't know, actually. Okay, you just said that you eat meat, dairy, and eggs. So when you buy meat, yeah. dairy, and eggs, you're making a vote. For this to happen you're making a vote for this to happen to the animals and you're giving them money to pay for it to happen oh so, yeah 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 so so do you think that you can true so what i'm here promoting today is veganism animal rights in the form of veganism do you think that you can truly be against animal cruelty while supporting industries like this yes all right, so so, all right, so, do you think that supporting industries like this means that you're abusing animals? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. So, do you think that, and do you agree that until you're vegan, animals will be abused and tortured because of you? Yes. Okay. So, do you know what the number one benefit of being vegan is? Not killing animals. Yeah, yeah, very very good guess, very good guess. So, obviously for the animals, they're no longer being tortured and killed because of you. Yeah. But for you, the number one benefit is, because he said that animal... Because he said that you're against animal cruelty, and, yeah. and when you go vegan, you stop supporting animal cruelty, so for the first time in your life, you have the opportunity to not be a hypocrite. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. So moving up, moving from this conversation today, do you think you're going to be a vegan or an animal abusing hypocrite? Uh, I don't know, really. You don't know. So veganism's yeah. difficult when you think of it from yourself and your own point of view, but it becomes much easier yeah. when you think of it from the victim's point of view. <clears throat> Yeah. Okay. So, um, so do you think that makes it any easier? Uh, I don't really think so, because okay. it's hard not eating meat and stuff, you know. Okay. So, so yeah, just when you're in the supermarket, instead of um reaching for the murdered animal bodies, you should reach for the lentils and the beans and the fruits and the vegetables and the whole grains and all the other food. Right, and if you think that's difficult, just think of it from the animal's point of view and think of who yeah. has it harder. You having to eat some tofu or these cows in the slaughterhouses. So so who, who do you think has it harder? Uh, the animals. Yeah, of course, of course. So I'm just going to tell you this to give you a bit of motivation. Just keep in mind that until the day comes that you're vegan, animals will be tortured and murdered on your behalf. So I'm just going to let that rest yeah. on your conscience as you decide what side of history you want to stand on. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So what's your name? Jordan. Jordan, cool, cool, cool. What's your friend's name? Riley. Riley. Riley, did, did, you, did you hear what I, what I said? 
So, mm. so moving away from this conversation, what do you think you're going to do? Um, we South African. We eat meat, but I don't know. I'll All think right. about it. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Just like it's like what I said. <coughs> yeah. It's like what I said, um, until you're vegan, animals will be tortured and killed, so... What do you think would be the hardest part of giving up eating murdered animal bodies? Um, I don't know, it just tastes nice. It tastes nice. Okay, so do you think that just because you get pleasure out of an action, that morally justifies that action? No. No, 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 because you wouldn't... You're. I'm sure you're against people who you know kill dogs because of the taste of dogs and i'm sure you're against people who um you know drag fish out the ocean i don't know if you're against people who drag dolphins out the ocean mm. I, I, yeah yeah because i'm just asking um for that same respect to be extended to all these other animals like cows and pigs and chickens and fish <coughs> do you see what i mean mm. Okay, okay, okay. Sure. So, do you think you've learnt something today? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, so what do you think you're going to do? Yes, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to send you, uh, I'm going to send you a, uh, some free help that will help you go vegan. It's called Vegan Boot Camp. You get 30 days of free help to go vegan. And I'm also going to send you the documentary that I just showed you. Jim. This is it's called Dominion, and um, I'm also going to send you a speech by a man named Gary Rofsky. He um, really talks about um, a lot about the moral imperative we all have to be vegan. This is not an isolated incident. Don't for one minute think that this is an isolated incident. This is how slaves are treated. You don't really think that slaves get treated nicely, do you? You really think white people were nice when they shipped black people over here on ships? You don't think Nazis were nice when they walked Jews and gypsies into the gas chambers, do you? And this happens because you want to buy those products. Yeah, that guy's a scumbag for doing that. But he's doing that because you want to eat what comes out of her body. And enough already. You're not a caveman and you're not a cave woman anymore. Stop acting like Neanderthals. This is 2010. Give it up. It's not cute and it's not funny because animals are being abused. It is not your right, it is not your freedom to do this to them. You don't get to have freedom when somebody else doesn't. That's a violation. And if you wonder why vegans get so upset sometimes, like I am right now, you just saw some of it. Every time we show up at a farm, somebody's punching, kicking, and stabbing somebody. And something else that I'm curious about, how come when I show videos like this of people punching and kicking animals, people are more upset with that than when they shove a knife in their throat? So even if you find a farm where they're not punching and kicking, when they shove a knife in their throat or put a bullet between their eyes, how is that not cruelty? How old are you, by the mm. way? Twelve. Twelve. You twelve as well? Um, what, what's, mm. what's your name again? Uh, Jordan. Jordan, Jordan, alright, so, uh, alright, do you want, do you want to see my channel? My YouTube channel? Uh, excuse me? Would you like to see my YouTube channel? Because this is, mm. do, you, do you want me to, should I post this on YouTube? Yeah, sure. Okay, so this is my YouTube channel. Alright, so. Alright, thanks. Yeah, so when when you're ready to align your actions with your morals, you already know what to do. All right, yeah. so is there anything else you'd like to say? Uh, thanks for the word of advice. Hope you have All a right. good day.
you're welcome right, thank you you too just think about what side of history you want to stand on yeah okay thanks thank you thanks for the conversation bye bye very 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 smart kids yeah, I just hope they make the right decision one day. Yeah, anyway, so... Yeah, that was a very good conversation. Yeah, I think I think they're definitely going to be having some conversations between themselves about the future of... About their future relationships with animals. I think that was a good conversation. Yeah, that was a good conversation with these two kids. Anyway, so yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, my sister's gone to bed now, so I got to shut up. Thanks a lot for watching. What else was I gonna say? Yeah, I think I've definitely planted a seed in the minds. So, uh, like, yeah, let's see, let's see it flourish. All right. Yeah, just like Joey Carbstrong said, boy. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Prax. Thanks for watching this episode of the Candy Air Vision. Leave a like to support the video and type a comment to tell me what you thought of it. Save and share this video around so more people will watch it. Feel more connected to me and my work by following me on social media. Links in the description. Finally, press subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video. CDA!